Hello crafty friends, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I am going to be making a very pretty lantern and I am just using what I had but my thought was originally I would I was trying to find something like a milk carton. I used to buy half gallons in the milk carton and that would have been perfect for this. But this is what I had, and so I'm going to make this work, and I'm going to cut out the panels and just have a frame, like you can see here. And then I'm just going to take this pretty napkin, and it only has the one side with the gold uh, add, added to the leaves, and I wanted that on the whole thing, so I ended up cutting... I cut out four, thinking I'd need four, but I only used three. And so I'm cutting these out... And then I'm going to take it down to one layer. And then I'm going to Mod Podge it onto wax paper that has been trimmed to size. So just kind of um, folding it down so I know where to cut it down. And then at the end, I end up uh, turning it over the top too to get it, give it some kind of a, you know, so it's nice and even on the top. And so I just, like I said, brought it down to one layer and Mod Podged this on and pretty much just did it on the one side um, and maybe just a little bit on the edges just to keep the edges down. But I didn't get real crazy about um, making sure everything was coated. Um, just basically getting it attached on the bottom. I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, but I do like how it turned out. And now once I had that all done, I am using regular white glue to attach it to the frame. And just kind of make it work and, you know, attach it and pull it down, keeping things from wrinkling and just going along as you can. Okay, and so now I've got it all done and now this is where I am folding it over on the top to make, the, um, make it nice and even on the top. Just folding it down a little bit and adhering it to itself with the Mod Podge. Or a little glue too, that will work fine. And then last but not least, I just put a little on the bottom just to keep that bottom from being pulled up and let that dry and everything was ready to go and it was ready for a light. And I wouldn't recommend like a real candle for this, but I did use one of those lights that you, uh, it, it was must have been a Christmas one because it had red and green and blue and all these colors, which I didn't really like. I, I like it when it's just white, but this is what I had so you can see all the colors coming through on my little uh, lantern. And you know, a person, if you wanted to, you could glue that down too. On to the next DIY. Now here is where I'm sketching out some pumpkins and I, I've been wanting to use my wood burning tool for quite a while. And so this is just a piece of thin kind of wood um, and just going to sketch this out, get my little tool out and go for this and I haven't used this in a while, so it took me a little bit to kind of get the hang of it. But really what you got to do is wait for it to be nice and hot. And then, um, see, I've got like a tapered edge on there. Well, I after I was done with it, I kind of wanted it a little wider. So then I did change the tips and I went over it one more time. But here I am just sketching it out. And then here I've changed the tip and going over it just to make it a little darker looking. 
And now I'm going to begin the painting and basically I just went with one one coat and I um I didn't really do any uh you know highlights or anything that you know to make it look more three-dimensional. I just painted it the one solid color and after everything was dried then I uh, I went over it with some brown antique wax and kind of grunged everything up. And so going with the blue and the white, I think that's fun with the blue paint and um, the white was just kind of getting, my white is really getting dry. And so you'll see in one of my other uh, DIYs for today, what I do with that end up doing with the rest of that white paint. And so I'm just going along and adding some of the burning and making a, an edge. And when I got done with this, I thought it really looked like a, uh, like a carving in a way. It was kind of, it's kind of fun. So it isn't perfect, but it's okay. And I don't know what those little wiggles are called, but I just love them with pumpkins. So I just added a few of those and painted the stems. And then, like I had said before, I just went over it with my antique wax just to kind of grunge it up a little bit and add to that uh, carved look. And just gluing on a back to this, something to hang it with. And I was just going to put a little messy bow at the top because those are so fun. I've been liking this little orange buffalo check ribbon ribbon and I've been tearing it kind of tearing it along the edge to make it more frayed looking just taking bits and pieces and adding them in there and tying it on I've forgotten how to make or I didn't forget how to but I forget sometimes to do the little messy bows and now I've been remembering it more so using them more but in the past, I've always done, you know, just a regular nice bow to it. And of course, you want to trim your edges and uh, put everything so it's pretty much all together. There is the finished piece. I really like how it turned out. I like that that uh, carved look that it has and uh, yeah it turned out to be really fun on to DIY number three okay this one turned out to be my favorite and I want to show you this technique now you're gonna take print your paper put some removable adhesive on there take your tissue paper press it down run it through your printer and this is after I've run it through the printer and I'm taking off the printed tissue paper and I did have a little trouble with this part on um, I don't know why but it tore a little bit and so I, I actually did take my time doing it but um, it ended up tearing and I did get this printable from ministering printables and so I'm just going to put a little orange behind the pumpkin to fix that and uh, just eyeballing things because ultimately it's going to get Mod Podge down. So once that was dry, I applied the Mod Podge and got started on this cute little jar. And I didn't do anything more than just apply it to the front and back or, you know, to the underside and the top of this. 
and the rest got put, I did paint. Now here is what I ended up doing with that white paint that is getting so thick as I added some water and I just ran it through and um, that way that image, the words were showing a little better. So I have the white inside coated and now I'm just taking the plaster color and going to um, paint the outside. And I did like how it looked, but I wanted it to look a little more cohesive and blended. And so I just went around with some of the uh, antique wax and kind of gave it a pretty edge to it. And I had this lid from another project and I've just been saving it. And so it's going to go on here and again using the messy bow and just adding things and tying it. and trimming I do like that technique of taking something and printing it um, it's probably going to need a little bit more tweaking as I you know learn how to do it but be sure to use removable adhesive if you want to try it and then using the two types of glue to put on the stick or the stem and just some of that Spanish moss and voila I was done this one like I said was my favorite um, just love how pretty that font is and just so uh, farmhouse and autumn looking at the same time well thank you friends for coming and watching my videos I am happy to have you and we've got more fun stuff coming up soon and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.